Hi right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Fishing with Timmy Turtle. Today we're starting Pipe Dream 2.0. Jamie from Urbane East Building. There we go, nailed it. Here he is here. <laughs> Gave me a call, built this bad boy and said he could give me a hand building our very own custom Timmy Turtle edition boat, punt type thing. So that's what we're gonna do. Gonna talk you step by step through the whole process and hopefully make it a lot better than my original DIY video because I realized I explained nothing. So it's just a lot of music. So yeah, hopefully we're gonna run you through step by step over the next couple of weeks, weekends that we're gonna be doing this project and get you to a full Timmy Turtle skiff. Uh, we're just gonna do a basic run through of the tools you'll need and then we're probably gonna forget a heap but we'll add them in as we go. So basically you'll need jigsaw, a drill, a heap of those clamps, power saw. So for, for our build, we're gonna be using a Nightgale quick dry polyurethane just because we wanna try and knock up the whole thing in one day, the basic outlay. So yeah, instead of going through every individual measurement on what size panels we're gonna be cutting up, uh, that'll all be on the plan, which will be on my website. So if you guys want to build this and want the exact measurements for all that, that'll be on my website. To begin with, you're gonna need four sheets of nine mil marine ply and one sheet of 18 mil. All the tools that we're gonna be using today will be in the description down below. So you can read that and just check if you've got all the tools that you're required to build this thing. So first things first, we're gonna join the two nine mil planks together, the nine mil marine ply together using, we've got, we're gonna basically glue to this and then sit that on top half and half and then pump it full of screws. And then basically we'd let that go for about 15 minutes. Yeah. And then it's good. We, and then we can start using the whole lot as a, we can start using As a and, template. Yeah, use it as one big sheet. We can start marking all our sides. And This one's to do with cutting out all your sides, getting your template ready. So we're gonna join this together. So we've got 200 mil, yeah. Length of nine mil there, that's gonna be laid on top there and joined together with the glue, quick dry, and then pumped full of screws. Take all the off so we don't hurt fingers. So make sure you mark up hundred mil just so you're getting it precise on both sides. So we can lay that lay that plank down straight on there. And you've got I thought you used to have to put in the old pump and squeeze bottle. Well, no, not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> so now we've got to make sure that your glue is going to actually grab both surfaces nicely. So I put a fair bit. Yeah. Push it down. So there we go, we've put 28 screws in there to hold that together. They're not marine grade, so that's just to hold it down for the, for the gluing to take place. With the two boards together, the next step is to mark out the exact plans for the boat. Uh, all those plans are gonna be on a nicely typed up document on my website. But if you wanna make your own plans, it's entirely up to you. So we're just gonna measure, draw it up, cut it out for all the sides and the interior frame. We're taking them all out. We'll pop these out, yeah, you can do that. Yeah. So we've just marked up all our struts uh, inside and out for the for the boat. So we've got our outside ones and our inside ones. We've got our notches cut out for the framework in the middle. So it's all marked up, ready to cut out now. if they're slightly wider, yep. or they're a bit loose fitting, doesn't matter in the slightest. Better than them being too tight, you can't get them together. Now to get that little piece out. Nah, just like 
right everything is completely cut out with the jigsaw we've got our two we've cut the notches out of our two inner inner struts and then all our uh, cross pieces and we've also cut out the little corners just for a block of wood to reinforce it which is what we're putting on here now so it'll sit nice and flush when we join the boat together so we've put glue down on that so that's 18 by 18 put a heap of glue down and he's just screwing it in there and then we'll take the screws out later yep there we go so that's one side of the boat and we've got to flip it over and and do this one here the other side of the boat drilled on our first one Put the, the team uh, on, yeah. So taking the notch out of, out out of that of piece. piece. Yep, so, so that it sits it's nice over and this flat. One. And again, it's not about being super critical on your fit. Yeah. A, a slightly loose is better than a fit. So we have the two sides up on the boat and we just have one length of the 9mm ply for our base. So that's 1200. We're going to attach the end of it later on. We've got our two middle struts with the notches cut out. We've got our four other struts with the notches cut out ready to go. Take all the rough ridges off it with a bit of sandpaper. So she's all relatively smooth. She's starting to come together. Right. So, take this guy and just stand straight up. Bring him up till it lines up the transom. And then grab a frame. And then sit it straight over top. Yep. Bring him up. Bloody hell. Hey, look out. We have a boat. Put it on the water, Jamie. Mate, Put it on the go. water. Test run. Look at that. So just like the big jigsaw puzzle. You know, you cut, your, cut all your pieces out nice and carefully and she'll just link together. So now this one, we might not just pop him straight on yet because he'll sink too low. Oh, actually, no, we will. We've just notched all that together. We haven't actually put any screws or zip ties or anything in there. We've just spit it together like a jigsaw puzzle. All the notches fitting on each other. Get pumped, guys. And just go that way, follow that frame across. There we go, just cut out the front nose. For the hull, that looks sick. That, that can be glued and work straight on the side like that. Run a bead sort of straight along there. It'll stick easier to a horizontal surface, so better on doing that way. That's pretty professional. Bloody beautiful. Straight on there. Whack a clamp on it, makes it a bit easier for you. Whack some screws in, push Through him. Push. that way? Yep. So push him down flat. You want to glue these up? That's, yeah. That should slide in there. Just glue half of it and slide. Just it to that those. half. Yep. Slide it to the middle and screw him off. Same as you did by the bottom. That's the middle one. Should be a bit of a squeeze, but that's good.
kind of do the same process. So do two rows, probably just six screws, you know? Yeah. Through, that'll be enough. Put the screws in? Yeah. So down here? So I've just run the glue down the lengths for the front piece. I'm just going to beef the inside rails up with a little bit more of that 18 by 18. That means that the centre frames are then um, actually attached to something too, so they won't just fall out. Yeah. Go. Sweet. You want that angle to run down the face, so we'll go that way. We'll keep them on the inside. I've also added the extra piece on the bottom here and put in all those screws just to hold it together. We'll see it when we flip it over, but all those screws will come out again when the glue dries. So all the base has been put on the boat, got those screws all tacked in, they'll have to come out. Base and sides completely put together, all the internal struts ready to be flipped over. So just flipped it over, look at that, looks slick as, very nice, it's all coming together. Just going to cut the front piece out. Make sure we get the angle, so we're going to use the 9mm ply and we'll probably beef that up. Just the shades alone. So this will beef it up heaps. Tuck that in? Yeah, so you want a oh, bead of glue. Yep, so a little bead of glue around the, so down each edge and across, it, across one. So I'll hang on to that if you want to. So if we drop that in. Just mounted in there, glued and tacked in. Uh, what's that? That's like 20 so that's, mil that's by. That's like a 250 by 50. 250 by 50 mil board in there. That's where the electric motor is going to mount. So we just beef that up a little bit, glued and tacked that in there, screws will come out. We've got some stainless screws, the stainless will stay in. That's for the nose piece of the boat. So we've just drawn up the transom, ready to be cut out. Find the 15 line. And we're going to cut two of them. We're going to cut two, so we'll cut this out and get it ready, and then we'll trace it and cut another one. Righto, so we're cutting this one out, then we're going to trace it, cut another one, and glue them together. Just to give it a little more backbone. 40 horse till the steer on the back. So we can get <laughs> one of those 300s.
I'll just so we just cut out that piece there for the transom to bolt onto. Is that right? Yep. Yep. Reinforcement. Um, reinforcement. So that'll touch onto there. A lot of glue, a lot of screws. And then we'll do the exact same for the other side. Put that one on there. And then bolt those, glue and bolt those two pieces together, which is the back section, transom, and then glue and bolt them to this, the reinforcement. So are we going to glue them now? Yes, yep. glue and screw them. And then stainless steel screws? Those. Uh, yeah, they can be, yeah, they're tucked in there. What are they for? on a bit of an angle just hang it like so it's going to hang past slightly yeah and then and then we'll just plane that off right so you can put, put some, glue that and just put two tack screws up from underneath i'll yeah. just run it to 30 by 30 so just a little bit more meat yeah a bit more the more glue surface you have the stronger yeah it just wants to follow the, the angle of the transom up right and that'll just sit flush yep so glue that side So I've just drilled an extra extra couple of lengths of 30 by 30 mil pine on the inside there just to give it a little bit more beef. Tacked them on on the outside and the bottom. So the transom is going to go straight on there. So just give it a bit more extra support through the back of the boat. Overhung that a little bit and then took it off with a planer just so we can get the angle that we want because the boat's not completely flat at the back. We're, we're running on a bit of an angle. Just gonna glue the back, this back section, and we'll pre-drill, put one on, and we'll do the next one.
So these are, we're putting in the back of the transom, stainless steel, countersunk, square heads? Yep. Square heads. How long are they, you reckon? They about 50 mil, I think. 50 mil. So we just pre-drilled and countersunk all of those 50 mil long stainless steel bolts in the back of the first transom. Now we're just going to do the second board and glue and drill that one straight on. Beef up this back back section so we can put a fair sized chunk motor on the back. Put the glue all over this. Good enough now. That's what we want. So we've got the double layer on the back here for the transom. We've got it all rigged up, screws coming through. Five hours we have knocked up the complete base of the boat. And we probably mucked around for a little bit of that. Now we're going to mix up some of the epoxy and start the filleting process and do all the joints, well do as many joints as we can before the NRL Grand Final. Sorry. So we're just going to tack this together like this but in the centre. We're just going to put some tack screws in, hold it in place for when we do the filleting. Just to hold it sturdy. So now we're starting the filleting process. You will need some ice creams, yeah. some paddle pop sticks, some, some of these plastic four litre containers. It's actually better to go and buy the ice cream and That's eat the ice right. cream right. instead of going and buying just the raw ingredients. Not as tasty. And then some little measuring cups, because it's very precise. We need yep. to be very precise with this. This is a marine epoxy, five to one ratio, as it says on the label. Warning, keep out of the reach of children. So Jamie is going to be doing this. Eye protection. Yep, so be very careful, very acidic. If it goes in your eyes, you'll end up blind and it makes it very hard to fish. And some plastic gloves. I've never worn gloves in my life. Five to one. Five to one, oh, so there we go. five to one to one. So that's if you've got another additive that you can put different additives in with it, oh, but right. we don't. We'd say, so whatever, how much we want to mix, we've got some coving to do, so we're going to do a fairly big mix. So we'll yep. go right to the four. Four. So you put filter four with part A, yep. filter the four with part B next to it, that's it, that's your ratios done in the cup. So without splashing in your eyes. And if you stuff the ratios up, it's not like um, the polyester resins, where if you make if you mix too much harder, it'll just go off quicker. This won't work. This right. has to be done properly. So we're going to go up to the four. top line. The next top of the next four is because if you mix it together in here first and then tip it into your ice cream container it means what dries in the bottom of the cup can just be knocked out and you can reuse the cup again later. Now this stuff you should be wearing a mask as well. This is your uh, micro sphere. This tip's like, like um, what do you call it? Liquid nitrogen looking. So obviously it's very airborne, so if you breathe it in it's not going to be particularly good for you. Yeah. But it's like microscopic, microscopic round plastic beads really. Microsphere blend. So it's plastic, is. don't want to breathe this in guys. Tip it into there. How much did you put in there? Not too much because I don't want it to clog up and go into lumps. Right. The idea is to, to get it to blend together. And this is like a thickening agent that will stand up on itself, so we want to make this into to look like it's whipped cream. So mixing it up until it looks like whipped cream. So this is the consistency you're kind of looking for. Yep. It's got to stand on itself. Look at that, beautiful. Otherwise, you'd rather go a little bit thicker than thinner and you've got to work fairly quickly with it. So I should probably stop talking and get into this. Paddle pop stick to get the, the nice curve. 
then use a nice big clean up blade to just get in next to it, pull the crap away. There we go. Straight in the corner like that. Don't push too hard that you bump the other side. Pick it up and push it in. Take it right up about 10 mil, 20 mil short of the top spine because we're going to have timber go up around there anyway. Just pinch the excess away. That's what it needs to look like. Day one, just finished off, seven and a half hours, and we have got the boat to this stage. All together, everything's in. We still have to remove the screws. The screws will all come out once all that epoxy dries. So we've pretty much done all the things we need to do. We still have to touch up, remove some of the, the glue that goes down along the sides, and then fix up those ones there. Stoked with how it's looking so far. Day one complete. Done, Jamie. Done. Woo! <laughs>